Hey, Yoda, Tinegato. Hello and welcome to Freelancer with the Discovery Mod version 48.74. I think that's supposed to say 4.87, something like that. I think that's just the way that they display it so that they can get that extra digit in there or something or other. Yes, so this is a new mod for Freelancer. Well, it's not new. It's new from my current series, other series of mods with just the vanilla game and a dis no, crossfire mod, excuse me, not discovery mod. Yeah, so we're going for a new mod here. I know, just like with a crossfire mod, I'm going in almost completely blind, guys. I know a almost absolutely nothing about discovery freelance. I think there's a new faction that's about all I know and it's slightly in the future. So yeah, let's get a roll in here. According to the peeps, you basically have to go into multiplayer and it comes up with this thing saying, you know, they're not responsible for what you may or may not see online. So kids, you better stop watching YouTube. <laughs> and then it says, do you want to go local or the internet? Of course you want to go to the interweb. Now it's not like the Crossfire mod where it actually uh, goes into widescreen, it's actually still playing in the, uh, the 4x3 that you get over on the, uh, yeah. yeah does the vanilla game basically which is kind of cool kind of cool that's all right means it on my 16 by 9 monitor everything gets stretched out that's okay that is all right so we've got a couple of servers here unfortunately we can only display we're missing one otherwise we can't display them all so it looks like there's a couple of different servers for us to choose from but we're going to be playing on the the main server here the official discovery server so you know if you've got the mod installed hop on might see me on one day, who knows? Who knows indeed. So, it's an RP server. I don't know if I'm going to get into trouble for recording on the server or something. This is I have never logged onto the server before. I have never hit the connect button. So, <laughs> let's see how this goes. I didn't test this at all. This could go horribly wrong. And you'll never see this if it did. So now the screen is frozen. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, held on. Yep. All right, there we go. Welcome to the Discovery GC. GC? G GC official server. You can visit our forums at Dada. Server is currently running a beta release of 4.87, which is hopefully no longer in beta, considering that it's almost a year since this version of the mod came out. So please report any possible bugs. All right, so let's go ahead and make a new character. Because we don't have any... Whoa, hello. Whoa. So, oh, okay. Whoa. Can't I change my... Uh, can, can you change the peep? We can, can we change from trend? I don't know. I don't know. This is totally new. So, Planet Eerie. Okay, we got 25,000 creds. And the Stargazer. Ship. Well, is that the... Is that the, the bad one? The starting one? Probably. Okay, well, we started as tread. Let's do this thing. Let's see how it goes. Yep. Okay. Here we go. Character is a maid. So let's go ahead. Oh boy. Here we go. With the Discovery Mod. Vision 4.87. Okay. So what do we got? Welcome to Discovery 24.7 RP server. Type help for more info. Oh, there we go. No, how do you do it? Had a little bit of experience of online multiplayer. They should come over here. So what do we got? 24-7 family server. Type help. Yep. Server administrations are Aurelium, Aruge, Blodo, Cannon, Dark Holiday, Garrett Jack, Sorg, Jansen, Katane. Mrs. Alter Jago and Mwart. The angels are here to answer your question. Angels. Direct players to official factions that may interest them. Ask players tagged angels for help. So let's see who's we got on the line. Plenty of peeps. Plenty of peeps. Goodness gravy. Look at all these people. It's not like on the Crossfire multiplayer server where you're lucky to get, you know, 10 people online at once, basically. Okay, so, oh, whoa, is that, is that our ship? Oh, wow, let's go take a look at that, that looks cool. That must be added in the Discovery Mod Yalicious. Look at all these new ships, guys. They look great. 
They look great. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Okay. So what's we got? So this is us, the Stargazer. Too bad you can't bounce wheel in or anything. This is the only window that you get for looking at the sky. Wow. What a ship. So what what kind of the stats we got? Four gun mounts. Four thousand armor. Okay. Power output. That's new. 37, that's quite a lot. Impulse speed and... Oh wow, so yeah, it does kind of manipulate the cruise speeds and discovery as well, but it seems like it's an actual stat that changes. That is amazing! That is cool! That is cool. Alright, I'll go ahead and read this off camera, because I actually do want to read all this stuff, but it doesn't make for fantastic commentary for reading all of this. And that is pretty awesome. So what else have they got for sale? So they've got another one of these that are worth 13k. I think we've got this guy. Wow. I bet this guy's a heavy hauler. Where's the uh, cargo space? Yeah, 540. What is this one? 40, so that's way more. And then we've got the camera ship. Okay. The, the This is just the camera ship. Special utility craft for utilization capturing images that exist outside the RPM environment, utilizing for any purpose other than cinematography of arms. What's my permission granted? Say what? So it looks like it's specifically for getting pictures of video and stuff. Okay. Okay. We may have to play with that a little bit, seeing as we are making YouTube videos. Hello. I don't even know if I'm allowed to do this. <laughs> as long as I don't say, no one will ever know, right? Apparently. Okay. Coming over to the equipment room, I don't think there was any new uh, sounds for that, like the Crossfire mod ads, but that's okay. It's like, it's kind of refreshing to hear the default ones anyway. So we start with, wow, we start with some good guns here. The advanced flashpoint. Can we get anything slightly better though? So what are the stats for this guy? 277 or 138. So this is slightly better. It does use slightly more energy, I would imagine. Slightly more. We can't buy any yet because they're way too expensive. Uh, then we've got the Enforcer 8. That doesn't sound like a vanilla one to me. Developed by Egeo Technology, and it's primarily a Libertonian corporation. Libertonian. Ooh. Fancy word. I kind of whistled there a little bit, didn't I? The Enforcer 9. Ooh. So we could actually throw something on there if we had the moolah for it, but we don't. Alright, what else have we got in our hold here? Cruise Disruptor my Countermeasure. Don't start with anything in this department. Got ourselves the Advanced Sentry Light Fighter Shield. Start with anything better. We could get something better, right? Oh wow, that's only 800. This is virtually the same. So what, we've got a class 8 thing. Oh, oh no, yeah, that's just class 3. These are class 8, so they're way better. But they, we can't buy them because we don't have the Bula. The Deluxe Thruster. Alright. Oh whoa. Holy Thruster Options, Batman! Let's take a look at these. Advanced Thruster is the best that you can get in the vanilla game. 115, 110, oh, 24 million. <sighs> Does 826,000 to 24 million? That escalated quickly. All right, then we've got, what are these? Large containers for carrying cargo can be mounted on transport to rails. Okay, and then, wow. Whoa! 50,000. These are what we need in Crossfire. Take them to the Crossfire mod. <laughs> Look at these shields. Wow. I bet they can, they can undergo freighters or something, right? Yeah, freighters sucks. So well. This is amazing. The equipment selection is great. I, I am appreciating the equipment selection. But we can't buy anything. Oh, hello. Hello! Scanner. Advanced. So it's kind of like Crossfire how it has these advanced scanners and stuff. Okay, and they're reasonably priced. Uh, recruit ID. This ID is for the sole purpose of setting up a character in the ship carrying this ID. Does not exist within roleplay. Playing using this cannot participate in the server roleplay. Cannot trade or it's got traders. Cannot enter Connecticut. Good idea has an intended to allow players to gain sufficient reputation to get another idea. This idea is a temporary one and should be treated as such. Fighters, freighters, transports, and gunboats. So we've got the freelancer ID. 
If not affiliated with any faction, they generally operate independent trade ships or small ships. They sometimes act as merchants, but mostly just to explore serious, taking the odd job here or there to pay for fuel and supplies. Pilot carrying this quasi lawful ID is a freelancer who can attack any ship in self defense to protect them from friendly allies, can fulfill any bounty and escort contracts, and may treat transports as combat targets when executing a bounty or can fuse horrific. So it sounds like the freelancer is the one that we want. You know, for the basic one. It doesn't look like we can get any other ones. Armor upgrades! All of my yes, but it's too much. <laughs> oh dear. I want more money. I want more money. More money. Oh, I like how there's different pictures. I like this. Wow! All these cool pictures. So we've got the heavy armor upgrade. Armor upgrade mark four, five. Oh my goodness, gravies. How far up do they go? Whoa! 192 million! The scale of money. I thought Crossfire's scale of money was insane, but this is even more insane. 3.6. Okay. That is a hell of a lot. What do these other ones do? How much are they worth? Let's go back down. So the basic one costs tier 225. Okay, so it gives it by 1.4. That's even pretty good. That's 40%. Two cargo space. Ooh. Ah, I see. Now that is a good mechanic too. You can't just have the be all end all and just, you know, just have it. I mean, there's a side effect. I really like that. That is great. What are these? What are these engines? What do they do? Engines. ID. What is this? Police. Liberty police. Liberty Police ID, so it's kind of like the licensing system, except it's a little bit more fleshed out. That is great! This is great! <laughs> that is great, guys. That is awesome. That's great. Okay, we're gonna actually buy anything here. We're actually pretty good. Ooh. We're actually pretty good here for stuff. Maybe wanna just... Maybe get something? Maybe. We don't need to. Oh, what the... Nuclear mines, okay, these are not in the vanilla game. Yeah, because vanilla vanilla stuff have weird statistics on them. Let's see if I can find one. Okay, none of those... Unless they've kind of addled with the stats. A silencer CM dropper. Cannabisian dropper, okay. Effectiveness, 85, okay. Right. Wow. Mind completely blown mind completely blown on what you can get this is great I'm loving discovery already and I haven't even gone into space yet <laughs> haven't even left the first planet oh this is great how are you doing there buster so you want to give me money but you want to trade stuff so let's go to you so what do you got what have we got server rules oh here we go here's we go History of... Ooh, hello. Welcome to Discovery. Ooh, okay. So I might need to go ahead and read these. Bear back. Okay, welcome back, guys. I have gone ahead and read the rules, and the general gist is... Oh, hello. Something or other. Out of action, but okay. So generally the rules are roleplay, roleplay, roleplay. Not sure if I'm a big fan of that. Not sure, just we'll have to see how it goes. I haven't even left to space yet. Oh, here we go. More people dying! Yeah, I think we're about ready to head out into space. Pennsylvania! That's somewhere in the US, I know that much. Holy crap, baskets! The map is bigger. The map is different. And Munich is in it! Yeah! <laughs> I don't know. What else we got? Galileo, that was it before. Honshu, Kaido, so... Leeds, uh, New London, Edinburgh, that's new. Okay, we need to get out of the space to check what the heck is going on here. Let's get a move on. No annoying crossfire music. Doo -doo -doo -doo. We shall not, we shall not, we shall not speak of it. <laughs> Even though I spoke of it just then. Okay, there we go. Out into the thick black void of space. It's not quite that thick. We're gonna do it right there. How's about that? Okay, so 
What's cooking? Is that him right there? Oh, okay, that's him right there. Tyrion! Off attacking something. So we've got these four flashpoint guns. So what do we got here? Harrisburg. Harrisburg Station? That looks pretty cool. I'm not sure if there are any... Oh, hello. Hello there. So apparently you must have... There's something. Yo. No, I can't. I'm not allowed to say yo at the roleplay. Roleplay horrific. Aren't I? Okay. So yeah, this is my first ever multiplayer freelancer video on YouTube, I think. I've done a couple of live streams on the Crossfire server. Yeah, wow. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that looks kind of like, uh, sort of like an earth texture. You got the water there, then the earth. I feel the earth. So what else have we got here? Unknown planets, kind of gravy. Look at all this. They're not, they're not even that far away. It's not like Crossfire with the hundreds of K away. I haven't bound the M key yet. Okay, so that's basically all there is to see here. It's actually a pretty small system. There's even a battleship over there. Oh my goodness. The stuff is real. Okay, well I guess we'll uh, we'll finish things off here by actually... Well, let's go ahead and talk with something else. Why not? Why not? Let's go to the, the battleship Gettysburg. Okay, we'll go ahead and dock with that guy. I did bind this. Has requested to dock. That's me! I'm a docking. I'm a docking. I'm a docking. All the way. I'm a dock. Okay. There we go. Alright, so we're on board. That was easy. What do we got to do? I really wanted to come down here. Let's go over here and quickly check out this stuff. I wanted to come down here to get a sh to not a shop. A uh What is it called? A job. Shop, job. Same diff. Same. Same diff. Okay. Hey! Hey all you beautiful ladies. Come on, pay these be ladies in here. There's one. And she's got a job for us. The guy doesn't have anything to say. What's going on here? All the news Ooh. that's fit for you. This is the colony. News! Service. News! Not a whole lot of news, but news nonetheless. It's actually quite good. This is a custom system, so they have to kind of custom put the news in, which is really cool. That's great! So what kind of jobs have they got for us? Say so what? Look at... Oh my goodness, the money! The money! The money! Wowzers! Even the cheapest one wants you to blow up a store, a station. I know my words. Oh my word. Can I take these out with my piddly little ship? Is that even possible? Difficulty 7 is the cheapest that they've got here. Let's go ahead and check what the peeps have got. I've been hiding over there, so let's see what you got. Hello, what do you need? Anything for me? So it looks like this is the, the uh, time here, isn't it? The basic uh, you bet. conversation structure. I see. I work for the Liberty Navy. Okay. This is our base. Oh. I might have a proposition for you. Liberty Navy. I'll bite. What's the deal? Okay, so he wants us to do 110k. That's a bit too much for me. I think I'm staying away from this one. Next time, Trent. Mm-hmm. All right, what do you got? Hello. What can I do for you? Hmm. Hi. What do you have for this me? is some huge cheers. I don't know you. You new here? Uh-huh. Yeah, so... Ah, well, I work for the Liberty Navy. Basic conversation structure. This is our base. Don't mind talking too much over I it. I might have a proposition for you. Oh, yeah? Okay. Give me the details. Details. 110,000 as well. We'll go ahead and try and take this one here and see if we can survive. <laughs> I'm a little bit worried. I normally don't take the... The missions to destroy installations because they're very, they're generally very difficult. But we'll see if we'll see if this uh, works out for us. The Xenos installation at the waypoint. You'll find our uploaded data in your nav map. Look there for waypoint information and further instructions. So this beautiful piece of beautifulness. Cruises at about 400 gear. I sound like a salesman. <laughs> That's what I don't really like. It's like, I don't know. Do you guys have it where it's it sits on like 399.9? I wish that there was some kind of way where you could say, yeah, it cruises at 400.1, so that it would stay at 400 all the time. You know, 
Alright, the, now the diamonds are pink again. Glad to have that back. So it's pretty much a... It's a faithful addition to vanilla without really affecting what vanilla has for you. I can appreciate that. I can appreciate that. What? Why is this so low? Power? Our power is really low, guys. I don't know why. Why? What's happening? It's being depleted at the same speed that it's being used. I don't know. Be that. Interface is all the same. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm kind of liking it. I'm kind of digging it. Digging the old uh, vanilla stuff. I haven't used vanilla in a long time. We're coming up on our mission waypoint here. I really need to get that rebound. It's bound to F6 right now, but normally I bind that to M and then add that to I. Okay, it looks like they've spawned in. So generally... You should be able to make out the installation soon if you can't already. Yeah, generally all we should need to do is basically just the blow it up. Remember, we've marked everything. Oh! <laughs> that was like a one-hit wonder. Oh! Oh. <laughs> okay, let's give that another shot. Respawn, where's it going to put us? Group lives exhausted. So that's a mission gone. Okay, we <laughs> we lost the mission. Let's try another one. Come on. Okay. Oh, hello, new dude. That was craziness. Oh, the here's a nice one. That's better. Difficulty two. I'll take that. I'll take difficulty two. That's all I can manage right now. Okay, let's go. Oh wow, it's in another stub. We've got to go to New York! Oh wow, cool. That'd be kind of cool to head back to New York. Hey, right, let's get out of here. Alright. So let's head over there. So, I'm going to keep recording here, but I'm probably going to go ahead and cut the video because traveling through trade lanes and stuff is pretty basic stuff. The path has been marked on your nav map. Yeah, this is the first ever one of these missions that I've actually had to go to an entirely new system, by the way. It turns out there actually is voice acting for that. So there we go. But yeah, I'm going to come back once uh, things get interesting. Okay, so we're in um, we're in New York the now. Will be at the mission waypoint. Refer to the oh! For specific instructions. It's the Ithaca Research Station right there. I see. So they've added this new warp gate just like right next to the I think a research station, that's okay. I don't think he can dock with that guy. Alright, so, yeah, we're in the Badlands, obviously. Right from the get-go, you can tell that because of all the fog and the crystals. Glad to see they're back to their original colors. It's good to be here. It's good to be in vanilla. Vanilla-looking graphics. <laughs> Pennsylvania. Okay, they call it the Pennsylvania Jump Gate now, so it's actually... Okay, so you're basically just almost in the middle of New York. You don't start in New York itself. Hey, oh, it's like, there's something slightly different about it. I think it's just because I've had the crossfire shadows for so long <laughs> that yeah, everything just looks slightly different. And I can actually see a new station and even Trenton outpost all the way from here. They in, they've increased the draw distance for items. I think that's really good. That's absolutely fantastic because I can actually see see that stuff from here. What about Pittsburgh? Can I see uh, station way out that way? No, you can't quite see that far. The famous dense particle cloud. Oh, well, there's something over there. That's uh, Fort Bush. No, that's Fort Bush, isn't it? No, yeah, that, no, that's Fort Bush. Okay, yeah. Memories. Where are we going exactly, game? Where are you sending me? Oh my goodness! All the way to Pittsburgh. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and take the rest of the way off camera because you guys have seen that. This is... Well, well, hold on. Hold the phone. Trenton... Okay, that's been updated and moved. It used to go to sit over there, but they moved it. I guess it's because they did something to it. Pretty cool stuff. Anyway, yes. Over to Pittsburgh. Okay, guys. Welcome back. Yes. Okay, looks like we've got someone who's uh, quite happy to uh, be helping us out here. 
I'm not too sure about uh, getting direct help guys uh, I think you know people sort of tagging along and helping me do stuff you know like for example just finishing off this mission or you know stuff like that is all good I'm not too sure about people helping me on the the money side of things yeah okay so I assume this person is somewhere around no, they're gone. No, nope, they're gone. Where are they? Can't see them on the, the Zemapio. Okay, oh my... Goodness gravy. Liberty Rogue Destroyer! What is this in the craziness? Hostile ships in range. We mark them to make them easier okay. to spot. Mess with the Viper and you'll get the facts. So, let's see how crazy this is. Well, at least they're not moving around like they are in Crossfire. I could actually, you know aim at them. Hopefully the ping's not too bad either where I can actually finish these dudes off. There we go, looking good. No loot drop from a junker? Come on game. Come on. Oop. Alright, so I'm not used to this kind of uh, responsiveness from my craft. I normally like to fly the heavy fighters just because they work a lot. They, they have a lot more firepower, more shields and more armor, that kind of stuff. So yeah, we'll be switching to a heavy fighter at some point, and who knows, we might be trying out a fan one of these fancy, more higher level ships, freighters and stuff, to get access to those better shields. Not sure where this journey in Discovery is going to take us, guys. You'll have to let me know what you think, give me any suggestions, or what you would like to see, I guess that's worth saying. And yeah, we'll try and keep this series going for as long as we can. I'm not sure if there are any uh, real objectives. We could try, uh, probably a good starting objective would be to check out all the new content. Yeah, obviously for the start, we will have to just get ourselves in a position where we can head out into the lawless areas of space. And face the, the outcasts and Corsairs and whatever other factions have been added to the game. Really pretty neat stuff. Yeah guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Oh boy, so we've got a couple guys left, I know, more are coming. Not quite the end yet. Yeah, thankfully the combat is definitely much easier than Grossfire. Kind of glad that we managed to find that very low difficulty mission. Unfortunately it was way over in Pittsburgh, so now we're in New York. Thankfully, it was very easy to get to New York. Alright, a couple of guys left. And also, I think by now you'll probably realise, but I'm going to try and release this first episode in, in not 720p, in 1080p! Oh my goodness! Just like I did with the Crossfire episode. Let me know what you think of that. If you want to see more 1080p, please let me know. Yeah, basically, just any feedback in general would be really appreciated. Alright, that's another dude down! Yeah! Where'd that dude? Kinda disappeared. Not sure what happened to him. He probably... Oh, he probably lost me or something is probably what happened. So he's waiting around on... Near Pittsburgh. I'll bet you. Alright. We're actually inside the dense particle cloud, aren't we? I think we are. Alright. Finish this poor fool up and all good. You did it. The area yeah. is clear. Well done. Mission Commission signing off. Alright. Good stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Fantabulous. Alright, let's get to Pittsburgh. And then I think we'll call it a day. Target that guy and get on home. Whew. Guys, that is gonna be it for this episode of Freelancer with the Discovery Mod version 4.0. Eight seven, I think. Is that the version of the mod? I'm not 100% sure on that. Let me have a look. Wait a second. Where'd those other ones go? Did we lose the? Uh, okay, they disappeared. They've disappeared into the ether. Those other those commodities that were the rules and stuff. Okay. Oh, we got something new. Cool stuff. Anyway, yeah. I pretty much said everything that I wanted to say. 
Thank you very much for watching. Kia kaha, and I'll see you in the next video.